Bonjour, Mathilde. Hi, Jives. How are you? Very well. Nice to see you. Yes, uh, you're, see you. you're in the nice new offices in Van Romane, I think. Yes, absolutely. Well, I'm, I had not been able to come to you this year. I, ha I had a couple of questions for you on the 2019 vintage. Mm -hmm. um, so first of all, up Van Romane uh, and Louis Saint-Georges, tell us about 2019. What, what, was the, what were the keys to the vintage? Um, as you know, Giles, we, we have uh, more and more February and March uh, very with warm temperature, very sunny days, and it was exactly the same in 2019. So the growing season starts very early uh, again in this vintage. But it's always at the same time a stressful time because April could be uh, with cold temperature in the morning. And in 2019, we had three mornings with cold temperature. Um, we were very lucky because we did not observe any damage in the vineyard, uh, but the growth of vegetation has slowed down just a little bit, but it was okay. And after that, uh, May, June and July were very nice, uh, a little bit dry, a hot temperature, but some rain when we need it at the perfect timing, so it was very good. Um, and at the beginning of August, when the Veraison started, we observe a huge heterogeneity in the same grapes. And, on, and when we observe a grape, we had some big berries and some tiny berries on the same grape. And we said, okay, but it could be a, a very interesting vintage. And at the domain, we started the harvest on September 18th. Uh, we decided to wait the perfect maturity of the skin because to, for us to make a good Pinot Noir, we need the perfect maturity of, uh, of the skin and the perfect balance between the sugar and the acidity. And we, were, we are very happy with my parents and my brother Hubert uh, with this new vintage uh, because uh, all our cuvées are between 13 and 14 alcoholic degrees. So it's very nice for this warm vintage. Uh, and the balance of the acidity is amazing. Um, you know, my dad started uh, to make wine at the Domaine in 1982 and he told me I have never seen this kind of vintage. Perfect maturity, perfect balance of acidity. This is amazing. Wow. And um, in this vintage, when we try it, we are very happy with this charming sensation, uh, with the precision. Uh, this vintage is very complex and energetic. We don't lose the freshness. With, which is our signature at the domain, I think. And uh, we have some spicy sensation and, and also a licorice sensation. This is very, very interesting. They sound delicious. So um, that does sound like an amazing balance to have the really ripe silky tannins that we know is, is the Grivo way as well. Uh, to have that with moderate or reasonable alcohol and good freshness is is amazing. So tell us, for those of the people that, that might watch that don't know the domain so well, tell us a bit about how how you achieve it, how, how the, the process is in terms of the winemaking, uh, you know, what, what you do to keep this kind of balance. Um, since many, since many, many, many years, since my, my grandfather time, we, we distilled everything during the harvest, uh, but we keep the integrity of the berries. So we put the full berries in the tank uh, for a few days with cold um, pre-fermentation, just before the alcoholic fermentation. And it's very interesting because inside the berries, with cold temperature, um, we, we observe something. Uh, we can have a perfect extraction of the flavors, of the color. Um, everything is very smooth. And each cuvee can start the alcoholic fermentation when they want, just with some oxygen. and it's a, yes, it's a peaceful alcoholic fermentation. In total, it's between 19 and 21 days of vatting uh, with some pigeage just at the end of the al alcoholic fermentation because at the end of the alcoholic fermentation, we can have a small part of full berries inside the, the tank. So we want to crush the last berries to, to give to the cuvee the last part of sugar for, for very peaceful alcoholic fermentation. And then the wine stay 15 months uh, in barrel in our cellar um, and for the Bourgogne and village appellations we use 20% of New York 
for the Premier Cru is 30, 40% of New York, and for the Grand Cru is 45, 50% of New York. And after 15 months aging in barrel, the wine stay one month and a half in the tanks before bottling, just to have the perfect blend of uh, the different origin of food, uh, different um, toast of food, to have the perfect blend of everything in the wine. And um, in terms of, just to summarize then 2019, if you could uh, describe 2019 in one sentence, how would you, how would you do that? <laughs> Um, 2019 is, is an, um, an amazing vintage. Um, each cuvee is very precise. Uh, a Nuit Saint-Georges is a Nuit Saint-Georges. A Von Romane is a Von Romane, but with the, the touch of Griveaux. Because uh, Griveaux is very elegant, uh, feminine, sophisticated and fresh. And the Nuit Saint-Georges has the elegance of our Von Romane also.